The cult leaders of Lev Tahor, the most extreme cult in Judaism, were arrested in Mexico on suspicion of human transporting and crimes of a sexual nature. And they've been freed and 20 members broke out, simply overpowering the guards in quite remarkable scenes. <laughs> Jail breakout is not something you expect from a gang of Orthodox Jews or any other learned scholars. So I'm going to be looking at who this sect or cult is, what they do, how they were found uh, through a two-year Israeli secret operation involving both Mossad and Shin Bet agents, and why they've been freed. If you enjoy this, do hit subscribe and like below. Lev Tahor is an extremist Jewish sect founded in 1988 by Shlomo Helbrands. It has 200 to 300 members who follow fundamentalist interpretations of Jewish law. Now, this includes arranged marriages between teenagers and head-to-toe black coverings for girls and women starting at three years old. Among the allegations are kidnapping, sexual abuse, and child abuse. They were initially active in Israel before moving to the US, Canada, Guatemala, and Mexico. They are thought to now be in Romania and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Now, this reminds me of many other cults like Scientology's Sea Org, who kept moving around, you know, Portugal, the Canary Islands, and anywhere that would just take them. The Children of God cult has moved all around too, and we've covered that, of course, and of course, the Jonestown Massacre, which was in Guyana. I think what is so fascinating about Lev Tahor as a cult is that Judaism is a particularly secular religion. In fact, 42% of Jews worldwide, including myself, are totally secular. They see, or we see, Judaism as more of an ethnicity because Hitler would put us on the train tomorrow, regardless of our beliefs or lack thereof. Others see Judaism as a culture passed down through generations. Another 39% of Jews classify themselves as traditional in that they may have some religious belief, while only 20% are orthodox. Now, personally, I feel a great shame when I see these people left to whore, firstly because I worry greatly about the atrocities being carried out in the group, but also, more selfishly, I'm concerned about how it makes secular Jews look, how a brief headline in the media, quickly browsed over without too much attention, might leave a permanent impression of a bizarre, wacko, cultish Jews. So I would just take this moment to remind the viewer that Jews like me are no closer to left to whore than most a religious Christian families are to the most extreme branches of the Jehovah's Witness or the Westboro Baptist Church, who I've interviewed on this channel before. Lev Tahor's cult leader, Shlomo Helbrands, died by drowning during an immersion ritual in a river. The cult passed down to his son, Nachman, and he and other leaders were arrested by the FBI in 2018. Now, amazingly, for a supposedly Jewish organization, Lev Tahor applied for political asylum in Iran, of all places, and swore allegiance to its supreme leader, Ali Khamenei. Lev Tahor is an anti-Zionist, anti-Israel group. The Israelis call them the Jewish Taliban. The latest news is that Israeli secret intelligence Mossad and Shin Bet tracked them down to Mexico, leading to the arrest of Lev Tahor, but 20 of their members overpowered guards to escape, which is pretty remarkable, and the leaders were freed due to a lack of evidence. Now, I say this to Lev Tahor, you are not Jewish by my understanding of the word, not in my name. Keep watching the content on this channel for more on cults, extreme ideologies, and the stories you won't believe. There'll be updates on Lev Tahor. Comment below with your thoughts, and I'll reply to every one of them as I tend to do, and I'll see you next time.